Would you like to create a free mobile app? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. Now, in order to create a free app with JotForm, it is really simple. We're just gonna head up to the top left-hand corner. Right now we can see we're in My Forms. We're gonna choose this and we're gonna switch over to my apps. Next, we're gonna choose the purple create app button in the top left-hand corner, and we can start from scratch, we can use a template, we can clone an existing app of ours, or we can build a store. But for this example, let's go ahead and start from scratch. Now, the great thing about building your own app is it is completely yours. You can make it fit your branding 100%. For this, let's go ahead and drag and drop. This is going to feel very similar to our form builder if you are used to building forms. So over on the left-hand side, we're gonna to choose to add an element. And you can see it's very similar. So if you would like for someone to fill out a form within your app, you can bring in a form. You can have a signed document, you can have heading, paragraph, link, a lot of different options. So for this, let's go ahead and come back up to the top and let's make this a donation app. Let's say we're asking for donations. So let's go ahead and open up our properties and we can edit what this text looks like. Let's say we are going to save the penguins. We'll add some subtext. And then down here, we get to change what this looks like. We can make it larger. We can make it small. Let's go ahead and keep it large and let's put it in the center. Perfect. Now, next up, since we are looking for donations, we can bring in our donation box right here. Perfect, so you can see that it went ahead and it gave us three fixed amounts and we have full control over this over in the right panel. So if we scroll down, we have 10, 25, and 50. If we wanna add a new amount, we can. Maybe we want to make a lower amount just in case. Perfect. And maybe a higher amount. And then one thing I always like to do is I also like to allow custom amounts just in case someone wants to be very specific about how much they donate. If you would like to have a minimum or a maximum value, you can turn that on. So maybe we want the minimum to be at least a dollar. And it's always good to show a donation goal. So we can put this in, let's say the donation goal is $5,000. Perfect. And then we can see here our button text says donate now. Now, if we want, we can change the style of how this looks. Maybe we change the buttons to be a rounded button. Maybe we want to center that text right up here. Perfect. So next we need to integrate a payment gateway. So we can choose our payment properties right here and we can add a payment integration. I'm gonna go ahead and do Stripe. Perfect, and I always encourage you to turn on the test mode to give things a test before you release it to the public, just to test things out. Now we can also have some additional gateway settings down here, completely up to you, but I think I'm good, so let's go ahead and save. Perfect. Now, another thing about these apps is you can see right here, it says add a new page. So you can create different layers to your app. Now we also have the contact information page and this is here because we have our donation page right here. So, but you can see it is a new page. So let's say we would like to add a new page. Let's go ahead and add a new page right here. Perfect, so right here, let's go ahead and change the name of this page to a contact us page. So let's go ahead and drag in some things where people can contact us so let's scroll down. Maybe we have a map so people can find where we are. And we can also have a social follow so that way they can follow us on different social accounts. And then if we would like to add things like a phone number or anything like that, we would use something like the paragraph option. Now, another thing that we can do is we can add another page and maybe we want to name this page testimonials. And then over on the left-hand side, we have our testimonial option right here. Perfect, and if we choose the properties, we can edit what those testimonials look like. So if I X out of this, we can see because we started from scratch, this is very generic. So if we wanna make this more us and our brand, we can choose this form designer right over here and we get to change what that color scheme looks like. Maybe it's more of a black and white scheme. Perfect, let's take a quick scroll and see what that looks like on everything. That looks great. 
Now we can also change our layout if we want to do that as well. But let's go ahead and X out of this. I'm gonna head up to the top middle tab settings and this is where we can change our app name and our app icon. So right now the app is called new app and we want this to be save the penguins. And we also want to change what that icon looks like so we can edit that. So I'm gonna head over to the animals and let's take a quick scroll, see if we have a penguin. I think this is probably the closest thing to a penguin. So we can exit out of this over on the left hand side. Again, we have our splash screen. So depending on what our brand is and our colors, if we need to customize that, we can change that. I think black and white is perfect for save the penguins. And I think we're good. So if we go over to publish, let's go ahead and open in a new tab. And if I try to scroll, we can see that there's only one page. All the pages that we just made are in their own space. So up at the very, very top, we can see we have the contact us, and then we have the testimonials as well. Perfect. So if we head back to that home tab and let's go ahead and do a quick donation, we'll do a custom amount and we will do $2,000. We'll do donate now. And here's that contact information, proceed to payment. And we can see that it went through our donation of $2,000. Let's go ahead and go back to the home page so we can see that our donation goal, our bar is starting to fill up. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about creating your own app for free with JotForm, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.